The following program is rated TV MALV. It contains strong language and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. In the heart of the American West's treacherous mining industry, there lived a legend as old as the mines themselves, the Tommyknocker. These enigmatic beings were believed to inhabit the subterranean tunnels, knocking on walls and guiding miners to safety. One Australian man named Mock owed his life to their eerie warnings. As he ventured deep into the mine, the Tommyknocker's knocks alerted him to an impending rockfall, saving him from certain death. Grateful, but haunted by the price paid by those who came before. Mock emerged from the depths with a profound connection to the miners who had perished in the quest for riches. In the unforgiving world of mining, where every swing of the pickaxe could mean life or death, the legend of the Tommyknocker endured, a testament to the inexplicable, the mystical, and the tragic that lurked beneath the surface of the earth. G'day YouTube, this is Mock from the Black Collar Project and I am at the Fredrickson Mine in Good Springs, Nevada. This mine was established in 1897 and it was primarily a lead, zinc, copper and silver mine associated with the Good Springs Mining Company. We're about to go deep down into this mine with two other people that have never gone down into a mine which I will introduce you to shortly and we're going to see if we can communicate with the Tommy Knocker, the miner that lost his life down here in the early 1900s. Some of the reports of paranormal activity have been disembodied voices, light anomalies, shadow figures, rocks being thrown, and full-bodied apparitions. So let's go down into the mine and check this out. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for further updates. Let's see what we can find. Rock on. Guys, I am here with these two, Geo and D. Now this is Eerie Expeditions. You got it. And these okay. guys are new to YouTube. They are troopers. I've been watching their videos. They've been doing some pretty uh, haunted locations in Nevada. So guys, make sure you check these guys out. I'll put the link in the description for you. And uh, yeah, this guy here, he's pretty decked out. And so is she. So <laughs> they're going to lead the way. They got their twine. Yep. They're really decked out. I uh, So just so your viewers know, I figure yep. I'll say this now. Yep. I'm claustrophobic. And he's also <laughs> afraid of uh, spiders. And I'm definitely afraid of spiders. So uh, yeah. I, I got helmets. I got he's got the deck out. sensors. Yeah, this guy cameras. is like legitimately. So <laughs> I'm just trying to survive. I got yarn. <laughs> got yarn. Glow sticks. He's going to do some knitting when we get there. <laughs> I was like, I'm the empathist, so I'm already feeling a yeah. lot of emotions. Yeah, so you're very... Very sensitive. Yeah. Very. <laughs> so, and you are as well. Yes. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're both uh, sensitive people. Yeah. We both are full-on experiencers. Um, yeah. are, we're not skeptics. We're full-on, uh, yeah. not just believers, but we're knowers, I want to say. Because yeah. we know the truth, in my opinion, that these things are real. Right. A step further mm -hmm. is I've had even like UFO contacts with me. Yes. Um, from the military and also most recently in Sedona and another weird occurrence in Mount Wilson. Uh -huh. um, I can't explain. And then my sister is someone who just has seen, has ex has felt, has been touched. Um, she n normally feels the presence of things before anybody else does. So yeah, that's why we kind of brought her here today. <laughs> and this is their first time in, your first time into a mine? Both of us, yeah. And yes. they're going to lead the way. I haven't got a helmet on at all, so oh, yeah. <laughs> so they're going to take the full the force of the, of the getting hit. And if it comes this way, it's going to hit us first. So. Yeah, so make sure you check those guys out. So we're going to rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rocking and rolling. So this, uh, I'm going to tell you history as we walk around. Okay. Because we keep the uh, viewers entertained. Um, this was discovered in 1897, um, before the town of Good Springs was founded, which was 1910. And the miners came from all over the country to come here and search for gold and silver. And this is one of the first mines in the area. It's about five miles from Good Springs, Nevada, on the way to Sandy Valley. A lot of people have come here looking for uh, skinwalkers. But uh, more so Tommy knockers. That's what we're after. Which way do you think is the way to go? If you could choose a way to go, because there's multiple ways. Um, there's I'm that way. There's the easy way down here, or there's the harder way. Ooh, but I they, that for a challenge. Oh, there's a little mouse. That's up to you, dear. What'd you say? A little mouse, either. Oh, yeah. Wait, is there? Yeah. yeah. Hi, buddy. It's funny because last time I was in here, I didn't really come across anything. So we're gonna go head down this part of the mine Which way? and go into the room where oh, the dolls are. This way. If you have a look here, right? You can drop the yarn for a sec. You can see up here, the support beams holding up this part. Or is that a doll? 
Oh yeah, it is too. Is this like a doll with no head? Yep. Like some... That's a doll. That's crazy. Ripped the head off, yeah. I did a video on the Delamar mine recently. That was the last video I did. Okay. There was an air uh, flow in there. So this one here is a little bit stuffy. We're gonna carry on down deeper into the mine. It's very funky down here, eh? Yeah. It's like, like, um, dense. Yes. Like, if you, the acoustics, are, yeah, like you could, you know, you're a sound guy. Right. Oh. There's no, like, echo. I mean, see? Yeah. Whoa. So. That's so creepy. Okay, going back to get the digital recorder. There's a dead end up there. So, I know up here, but down here, there's another way to get into that. And up there is where the the doll room is. People have come into this part of the mine and they've left offer offerings. They've left offerings for the Tommy knockers. There was dolls when I first came in here. Cryptid Hunter, he's another YouTuber. He left the dolls in here. And uh, people have left other stuff oh, like, here, yeah. yeah. They've left other stuff like uh, coins and little bits and pieces. It sounded like a Went to which direction? Place. It hit the wall? Like that, that way. way. Oh, it was this yeah. way? Yeah. This is where the dolls were, but there's no dolls anymore. Whoa. Yeah, I remember that. Geo's just taken a, uh, a Polaroid picture. So he's got the old Polaroid with him. And uh, we're going to leave a gift to the Tommy Knockers. We're going to leave a Polaroid shot. Yeah, this is the person that you don't want to mess with. He's taken a photo of me. It's just developing, so we'll see how we go with that. <laughs> So, yeah, guys. this is not for Zozo. <laughs> Let me get that clear. This is not for Zozo. I messed yeah. up. This is not for Zozo. It's for the right. Tommy Knocker. It's for the Tommy Knocker. I don't know why the people come in here and do the whole demon thing. I don't know either. He's going to leave a... Starsky pin? A pin? Yeah. And it's That's a... Pretty cool. It's a... Uh, her name is Star Girl. Star Girl. It's a, like DC comic. There you go. I think Marvel actually. So that, this is the gift for the Tommy Knocker that lost his life in here, the miner that lost his life. So we're gonna go into uh, the second level of the mine, which to me is a lot better because it just keeps going and going. And there's more room as well. It's spacious, we don't have to crash down or anything. The oh, initial okay. part is a little bit tricky, but once we get through there. What's this? You can take a left through here. It's easier to get out. Oh, okay. There's a little secret section up there, but I can't fit up there. But. Uh, this part here, just watch it, watch it fit footing. It's loose rocks. Oh. See, it gets cooler. See how steep it is. It's about a forty-five. Yeah, you've got to keep an uh, ear out for uh, disembodied voices and stuff like that. It's cooling off quite a fair bit down here. See, someone's left twine here. Is there anybody trapped down here that would like to communicate? The miner that lost his life. Do you do you remember me, sir? I came here last time, remember? You warned me. You let me know. And I had to run out. Thanks for saving me. My sister's holding on to it. Someone's can, pulling the string? Yeah, and she can feel the tension. What See, the hell? Here, show mom. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Look. That is weird. And I didn't tie it off. It just dropped on the ground. You feel it? Go grab it. Like, you can feel it. You can feel someone pulling. Who's pulling that string? Do you not want us to go down here? Oh, that's weird. It's so tense. Let go of the string. What the hell? I didn't touch it. That wasn't me. Let go of it. Get out of there. So D, she has a uh, she has string that she's holding and she's using it so she knows how to get back out and uh, she felt pressure like someone was tugging it. You want to give us another another word on the uh, spirit talker for us? How did you die? We heard you were crushed, right? 
1897. So you were here for a few years. You went down one day to, to uh, investigate the noise further down deeper into the mine. What was down there? What were you, what were you searching for, sir? The last thing you seen before you passed away? Before you were crushed to death in the mining accident? Turn the flux off for me. Ted's temperature. It's funny because that one's not doing a temperature fluctuation. Believe us. What does it say? Believe us. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. That's a motion to the right. That's a motion to the right. Oh, wow. That means thank something you. went past. Okay, we have the, the REM pod setting off temperature fluctuations here. And we also have the flux that uh, triggered to the green, which is the right side. Can you back off maybe? Can you back away and maybe touch the, the light with the red light on it? So what, what we're doing, if you, Charles, if you don't understand, is what we do is we try to capture spirits communicating with us so that we could also educate the public. And that's pretty much what we do in a nutshell. We try to go into locations like this and to speak to spirits and it's a way for us to show the public that these things are real and you should respect them. And especially areas like this where a miner you know, had passed away, you shouldn't come in here and, and uh, do things disrespectfully. I think you should come in here and be respectful of the spirit, so. Yeah, you want to pull that um, line again like you did before? It's being pulled. Mm -hmm. What year did you pass away, Charles? Twins. Twins. It's a change of temperature again. I need it. Phenomena. Phenomena. That's relevant. It is. Yeah. I mean, the temperature is cooler out there. Ten spirits. Ten. Ten spirits. So there's ten spirits in here with us right now? What are your names? Can you tell us your names? Six. Six. Cancer. Cancer. Wow. That's weird. My sister's zodiac sign is cancer. Is that what you mean cancer by? Or are you saying cancer as in... Died from cancer? Did you die from cancer? A lot of people did back in the days, especially tuberculosis. Yes. What's up here? That's the second level, like where we first were. You know where the doll room is? Oh. That's the top level we were in. There's a Polaroid up there that uh, GA took earlier and uh, he's just left it there and it's been developing so he's going to go and check it out. But he's going up there, he's just scaled that 45 incline up there. He's crazy. But we're down here and we're just... And we're just... You want to stop doing that with the flux over there? Are you trying to like get us to come back down that way? It is pretty tight, eh? Yeah, and I'm like, I did not. I feel like put it there if you could see it move or anything. Oh, that'd be... That would be cool. Hey, that imagine if be... you saw it like tug. Mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. This looks like really old. You can see he's all the way up there. He's got the pole. <gasps> Humilis? What's doing some weird words? Hey, you just walked past the flux. Was that you, Charles? I'm assuming your name's Charles. We don't know your name, but you want to set the REM pod off as well? You can see how old that is, guys. Remember, this was 1900s. So he just got the Polaroid back, so. There's an anomaly in front of me. <laughs> is there? I just love that. I love that expression. I told you, Polaroids, man. Yeah, there is some sort of anomaly there in front of me. Different color, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can see it clearly. So I've just come back out here to this main part of the mine. And I'm here by myself while those two are in there. And I'm getting voices and I'm getting movement down here now. So we're going to have to head off down here, I think. We're going to have to go deeper, deeper into the mine. Because I am getting stuff behind me. It is so dead quiet out here, but we're gonna go venture further down, see if we can get some more activity down there, some rocks thrown or something like that. So we are going further down deep into this thing, uh, into the depths. It is cooling, getting cooler down here as well. You can 
hear the mouse probably fart. <laughs> Is that quiet, eh? That's what that was, yeah. You inhale that, you die. Minus. What was that? We don't speak Latin, you have to speak English. Linus. So, she's here. She's here. Vampirus. Vampirus. And then Linus. I'm outside. <gasps> That's cool. Well, come in here. You're in the main part. Are you further down the mine? You can tap my shoulder if you're here. Yeah. Tap Wait, my is, shoulder. Is that your device that said that? Yeah. yeah. We're about how far deep now? This is like 300 feet maybe. This isn't even that far deep. So you used to be working here back in the days. You moved the ore from up here onto the mine carts. Is there a, a gentleman here that would like to communicate? So we're gonna go further down into the depths. You can see like it's a little bit uh, dusty down here. In the air, can you see that? Oh yeah, your light makes it easier to see the particles of dust. So we're getting further down. This is where it starts to get a little bit harder to breathe. Oh wow, it's all the cave in. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Are you over there smell like urine? It did it smell like urine up there. This is a weird you're you know in um rust? Rustic. Yes. It smells like that. It smells like rust. Yeah, it does. Alright, let's go further in, guys. There's a metal sticking up there as well. Be careful. Oh, yeah. You see she, that, Dee? What did it say? She speaks. She, she speaks. Yeah, be careful there. I just noticed idea? that. Huh? I just noticed that when you moved. Yeah. You get impaled. He's hit a dog bark. What is that? It's not my stomach. Oh look guys, there's like an old, uh, like wooden, I don't know what to call that, oh, yeah. like a step. That's where the rails would have been on. Wow. So this is the part I didn't go to. I didn't get this far down. Oh really? No. Nah. Because I was breathing heavy, so I'm like getting sick. So we're going further, further down. To the mine. So we're pretty far deep now. We're probably, I don't know, 500 feet or so down. But uh, it keeps going down, right? Yeah. I'm watching my footing here. Sounds like it like never ends. She's over there. Where? Where are you? Where are you? What's a lady doing down here? Well, there's one here. <laughs> She's alive. Maybe. Are you, you guys hear that? I did. Which way are you? Are you down further? Are you the wife of I one? I can't protect you. Why? We left something for you up there so you could. It's a etiquette to leave a something for the Tommy knockers, and that's what we did. We left a pin. The the photo I took because. It's, it's what paranormal called, people call gold. <laughs> so to us, I, I took the photo, My but... My childhood. I left you a pin, that's your, that's your childhood? Or were the dolls part of your childhood? Yeah. Well, yeah, why would you leave dolls down? Here. You know what, you know what we should do? Let's what? start walking and then no, immediately here. stop and see if we hear something like following us. Yeah, behind. Yeah. All right, Dee, we're gonna take... Five steps, and on the fifth step, stop immediately, okay? Yeah, because there's something up there. Ready? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five.
Still winner. Did you? Heard a thumb. From back up? Yeah. It ends. Yeah, it ends right here. So we does that dead end over there? I think. If you want to crawl down there, yeah. I mean. <laughs> I think it does. You know me. Yeah, you you can fit down there. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so that's a dead end. So I believe we just have to end up in line, but let's see. It might be a better way. What does that say? Kyra, Lee, Hogue, Kyle, Lindsay. You've got to be careful. Oh my god. Nine four, we are. 9 14 2010. DB 4 14 2010, I think. We're starting to get a little bit claustrophobic in here. No, dead end, dead end. Is it? The dead don't rest. The dead don't rest. Yeah, we know that. Dead end. Alright, dead end. Oh, moan. You okay? No, no, I heard the moan behind me. Yeah. Oh, let's be quiet, let's be quiet. Oh, let's just be quiet in here, maybe. Yeah. We've just gone quiet for a bit here, just to see if we can hear anything. Because that's part of what goes on down here, is the disembodied voices. And rocks being thrown. Pretty sweet. The devil is calling. The devil is not here. After it said the devil was here, it didn't even laugh. This is what you know, of course. It was like a laugh. Huh. Mm. You can come up behind me right now. That was clear as day. That should have been picked up on anybody's cameras. Everybody's cameras. I have a digital recorder too. This is sensitive. This is... Want to laugh again for me? It sounded like a woman though. I mean. It identifies as a woman. I usually get laughed at like Could have been a guy that had a woman's voice. Well, women laugh at me a lot, so that makes sense. I mean... We're at the end of the mine. We can't go any further. It was before, after the devil's grave. Yeah, it's there. Is it? It's there. Yep, oh. it's there. Is it? Put this up to your ear, or if you hear. Yeah, yeah, good. Pretty sweaty. The devil is calling. <sighs> oh, Clark. Do you hear it? Yeah. It's like, hoo hoo hoo. Yeah. You want to hear you it? Once you amplify it, you can amplify it. Yeah, oh yeah, when I turn yeah. it up, it's, you can really hear it. Yeah, it wasn't, it was right off the devil, right off the devil's core. So this is like the further risk we can go down. We can't go any further. That way's a dead end. That way's a dead end. But we did hear a uh, disembodied voice. It sounded like a woman. Tell us what your name is. How old were you when you passed away, sir? What town are we in right now? Is this where it happened for you? Is this where... The mine collapsed. If you're the spirit that died from a collapsed mine, can you tell us where that collapsed spot was where you passed away? How did you end up dying? Like, how did you die in this mine? How did you end up 
dying? Like, how did you die in his mind? I don't know, it sounded like music, but it's like, it's so low. Thank you for that. There's also a, a device I'm about to put in front of you. That will detect if you're near us. As you just saw it go off. Can you touch that? It's got a red light on it. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. It's on, it's on low sensitivity. Yeah. You want to let it make it go off with the light, the light's flickering. And then you can let the other ones go off as well. We have another one. We have two. How many REM pods do we have? We have two. Two. Two, two REM pods. Do you mind setting that REM pod off again? The device with the red light? You did it once. Can you do it again for us? Thank you for that. But can you do the REM pod like you did with the, that made the green light go flicker? I didn't get that. Did you get that on your camera? Yeah. Okay, cool. That lady before that we got on uh, on the audio, he a little shy. What are you doing down here? Seriously, though. Why would a lady be down here? What? I saw something. There's something right by the REM pod. Really? And it's tall. There's something behind you. Yeah, I heard a, um, like a rustling. Yeah. Atmosphere. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. That. Way. Totally. The atmosphere is pretty, pretty messed up down here. You know, the the, the air quality is pretty horrible. Can you touch that red light again, like you were doing before? Not the flashlight. Not the red flashlight. The the device in front of the flashlight that has a red light on it. Can you touch that again? Thank you for keeping an eye out for us, though. Like, you know. We've let, we, when we left you something before earlier on in the video, you've been really looking out for us. We haven't had any sort of anything to worry about. We went, we haven't been freaked out or anything, except for that woman's voice. That was kind of creepy. Yeah. But I'm sure, I'm sure you followed us all the way down here to the bottom of the mine. Is this kind of the area where the cave-in happened and you got crushed to death? There are f uh, faint moans coming from up top, as well as distant footsteps. Or rocks move, moving. Take picture. Take a picture. Oh, okay. okay, so he's got the uh, Polaroid right there, so we can take a photo. Is that what you want? It said take picture. So Gio's got the uh, the Polaroid there, so he's gonna take three photos of each entrance where where the holes are. Yeah, so it asked it asked us through the spirit talker, it said hole, and then it said take picture. So we conveniently have the Polaroid right at our feet. 80s baby. Right? And you can't fake that. Is there a spirit with us right now? Can you cross these rods for a yes and uncross for a no? And the light, the as light. soon as you did, as soon as it turned, the light went as well. I got it on camera. Okay. Are you male? Can you point in a direction that you passed away? If you can remember, where did you die away at? See how it's turning? The bright one is yeah. slowly turning. See? But it's going way back. So it could be... Somewhere up there. Yeah. But see how just the, the right one moved. Or what if up there? It could be back up, yeah. Mm -hmm. That way. They both are pointing that way now. Did you, are you the spirit that died from a cave-in? Mm hmm. Two spirits. That sounded like a fucking dog again, eh? Yeah. Is that not? Is that your camera or not? Or is that no, my stomach? This, that's time it's not. It sounds like a like a. It o and it only manual focuses. It's so. weird. Well, coyotes don't bark, do they? No. Okay. But like, it's like it's like it's so far away. Uh huh. You know. Is there a negative spirit in here with us? 
in this mind, is there anything negative? Where's she standing right now? Where's the woman spirit? Can you show us? You're pointed towards us. Got a flashlight on again. Yeah. And it's pointing that way, guys, for woman spirit. Yeah. Uh, we just got done with the Fredrickson mine. Uh, captured uh, some weird sounds, and it sounds like a woman laughing at us at the very back of the mine. I think we went as far as we can go, right, Mo? Yeah. Yeah, that was. So we, we went. We, got that DVP, yeah. we went to the very end, and that's when things. And he had told me, the very end is where things get a little weird, and things got a little weird. We went further than what I did last time. Yeah, yeah. So we went. We went at farther than Moke went last time, and farther. I've never been in a mine, and just so you guys know, I'm claustrophobic. I was trying in my brain, just blocking out that I'm literally walking inside of a, of a, of a mine. I, I was literally mentally projecting, I'm in Long Beach, I'm in, I'm in Maui, and I felt like I got, I'm, I'm happy to be out, let's just say that. I feel like I have captured my fears, but then Moke told me that there's other mines that are smaller, so we'll see. <laughs> so I felt like I'll be okay. My sister Diana, again, was getting throat scratchiness, having trouble talking. She comes out here out of the mine, completely normal. That's something that I'm noticing with her is apparently her throat, she has trouble or talking sometimes whenever she's around these kind of spaces. At that time was when things were starting to get a little more active. The other thing that was really interesting was the uh, RAM pod went off as soon as I turned it on. And you know, I don't know if it could have been me that triggered that, um, but as soon as I put my camera onto it, it stopped altogether. And that was the only RAM pod hit we had, which I don't know. I, you know, tough for a debate. Live, comment, subscribe, thank you. I set you free, I promise. There's no time.